One of the first things you need to know is that the antibiotics that are used for livestock have to go through the same clearance program that the antibiotics that are used for humans goes through. And so the Food and Drug Administration has jurisdiction in that area as far as making sure from the safety standpoint, doing all the tests that are necessary to make sure that these can be used for food animals and that if properly applied with the withdrawal times adequately followed that there's no residues that would be present in the meat. USDA has the jurisdiction to make sure that there are no residue violations in the meat supply. And so they test a tremendous amount of product each year and the number of residue violations are extremely low. The use of antibiotics not only for human health but also for animal health the extra thing that has to happen from the animal health standpoint is to make sure that those products will not cause a problem in the human side. And so one of the things, not only do you check to see if the antibiotics work for the animals and will, are designed to do what they're supposed to do, but you're also making sure that there's no residues that would result in any problems from humans that would consume the milk or the meat from the animals. And so the level of testing that must go on pre-clearance of these compounds that are used are tremendous because they need to make sure that humans will not get sick or have any other kind of medical problem if they were to consume products that would have residues in them. So the safety is checked at multiple levels and that's one of the things we have great confidence in. One of the concerns you hear today is about the development of antibiotic resistant organisms. So from a, a safety standpoint, the careful use of antibiotics by both humans and animals is something that we all need to take care of. If you're a human, one of the things we have to do is make sure that when we're prescribed antibiotics, we take them according to what the doctor has recommended. And by doing such, we have the greatest chance to be able to minimize the development of antibiotic resistance. If antibiotics are used according to the way that they've been prescribed to be used, then there's no problem with their use in the livestock industry. One of the questions you hear sometimes about the livestock industry feeding steroids uh, to livestock. And what happens here is it's routine for animals to receive growth promoters. These are different classes of compounds that help in the growth. It allows animals to convert more efficiently uh, to be able to minimize the cost of production. And so it's a routine uh, way that beef is produced today. All the compounds that are used have to be cleared by the Food and Drug Administration. There's no compound that can be used that has not gone through that approval process. They're carefully checked as far as the safety record and the safety of the product and make sure that there's no residues that would be in the meat or milk or anything of the animals so that that would be any kind of human health kind of concern. I know that when we uh, give animals these compounds, they have a chance to produce most efficiently and be able to minimize the cost of production. And we have a chance then to be able to put beef on the table at a reasonable cost.